second video for section 2.4. Uh, we're going to look at um, another problem just to make sure we're understanding this. So I'm going to give you uh, the function f of x equals the square root of x times the quantity um, x cubed uh, plus one-fourth x squared. Again, we could do a multiplication through this, but uh, let's practice the product rule again. Before we start, though, I'm going to write uh, the square root of x as x to the one-half power, and then we can um, work with this problem. Okay, so the derivative is the first factor, so x to the one-half, times the derivative with respect to the input variable of the second factor plus the second factor one third or x cubed plus one fourth x squared times the derivative with respect to x of the first factor. So we have x to the one half power times and the derivative of um, each one of these terms. So the derivative of x cubed plus the derivative with respect to x of one fourth x squared plus our second factor and then the derivative of x to the one half. Now we can go ahead and take that derivative. Uh, we would take uh, the exponent times the leading coefficient and then we're going to subtract one from that exponent. Now at this point though, we, uh, we've only taken one derivative and we have uh, two others to take, so we need to go through and do that work. So x to the one half power um, the derivative with respect to the input variable x of x cubed is going to be uh, 3 times the uh, leading coefficient, the exponent times the leading coefficient, times x to the 3 minus 1, plus 1 fourth times the exponent, times x to the 2 minus 1, and we'll finish up then by repeating what we have x cubed plus one-fourth x squared uh, times one-half x to the negative one-half. Okay, <clears throat> so we have our first step. We, uh, we're showing all of the derivatives we're going to take. The second step, we have actually taken the derivatives, and now we need at least two more algebra steps. So here we have x to the one-half power times 3x squared plus 2 times a fourth would be 1 half x to the first power plus, and we're over here now, x cubed plus 1 fourth x squared times, and remember we're always wanting to write our uh, terms with positive exponents only, so this would be 1 divided by 2x to the 1 half power. Now if there is anything else we can do with this, uh, we'll take a look and see. Uh, there does seem to be an x in each one of these. Uh, we might be able to successfully uh, factor out an x. Um, so we could have, let's say, x to the uh, 1 half, and then we'll factor out an x from this portion, so we have 3x plus 1 half, and uh, we can factor out uh, an x squared from this portion of it, and we would have x plus 1 fourth, and when we uh, multiply then, we, uh, the other portion we'd have times uh, 1 divided by 2x to the 1 half power. Not a lot more we can do with that. I don't see any common factors. Uh, the only thing I can think of would be to say at this part we have x to the 1 half plus 1, that would be 3 halves power, and then 3x plus 1 half. 
Um, at this point, um, you know, I could look at, um, I have x squared and I have x to the 1 half, so I could look at this as um, x plus 1 fourth, and um, if I subtract 1 half from 2, that would give me x to the uh, 3 halves power, and this would all then be divided by 2. Now, it's a problem like this that we probably should go back and check on the inspire. So let's take the inspires. Uh, let's pick up a calculation page. Uh, we're going to um, go back to our original problem here. And um, I am wanting to, I think the first thing I'll do is to define that function. And so we'll define um, f1 of x uh, to be equal to, um, I'm going to move this down so I can see that a little better, uh, it's going to be the uh, square root of x, and I'm going to make sure I move outside the uh, square root sign there, uh, times the quantity x cubed uh, plus, and um, I will make this 0.25 since 1 fourth is the same as uh, 25 hundredths, x squared. And I'm just going to say enter. Now there are some things that we can do. Um, remember we can go to um, menu and down to calculus and derivative. Um, the variable, input variable is x and tab. And uh, the advantage of having defined it first is that uh, if we want to graph it later, we could do that. Uh, I can refer to it by name, f1 of x, and we end up with, um, oh my, that looks a little different than what we had. So we're going to check it and see. Um, if I use an up arrow and I say, is that the same thing as the answer that we got? So let's go down to our answer. And um, I'm going to put in um, x to the 3 halves power, so x raised to the 3 halves power, um, times 3x plus 1 half, so I'll set a parentheses, and 3x um, plus 1 half, and move outside of the parentheses. Um, and then I have a fraction, so I'm going to insert a fraction here. And um, well, let me back that up and make sure that I, uh, I get the plus in there. There we go. And insert a fraction. Um, I have the, um, I have x to the 3 halves again. So x raised to the uh, 3 halves power. Uh, times the quantity x plus one fourth. So we'll have x plus, and I am going to make that uh, 0.25, and I divide that all by 2. Remember, if these are equivalent, I should get the word true. So here we go. Enter, and there's that word true. So our answer looks a little different. Um, than what we had before, but our answer is also correct. Okay, now comes the next major rule uh, of this idea in this section. It's called the quotient rule. So let's take a look at this. Uh, a quotient, because we have the rational um, function of a function divided by a function. Um, let's take a real close look at this and see where each of these occur. Here is my numerator. And notice that uh, in the first quantity of my derivative, I take the derivative of that numerator. Um, I subtract, and then I multiply the function times uh, the derivative of the denominator. So my numerator uh, begins in the first term. I take its derivative minus, and then the other term, I just use the function itself. Now, let's take a look at the denominator. So we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator 
times the derivative of the denominator, and we are going to then have the, uh, all of that divided by the square of our denominator. Now this is one of those rules where uh, it's very easy to get tripped up on it, so I'm going to try and give you a couple of ideas on how to remember this. In a fraction, you have what's called a numerator, that's the top part, and we have then the denominator, that is in uh, the bottom half of that fraction. When we start our quotient rule, which of these do we start with? Well, we start with our denominator, and D comes before N, so we start with the denominator. And so we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, minus, and then we just switch the order, numerator times the derivative of the denominator. So that will help you to get started. We always start with which of these comes first, which is denominator. The other thing that is um, a little, always a question in mind is, do I add or subtract? Well, let's go back and let's look at this product rule. In the product rule, we are adding. Um, if we have two terms of the same base and we multiply them together, what do you do with the exponents? Yeah, we add them. So if that helps, you're multiplying. The product rule is multiplying and we add between, just like we do when we have terms of the same base. Well, let's go to our quotient rule again. When we have terms of the uh, same base and we divide, what do we do with the exponents? And we subtract, okay? Hence, this is a quotient rule. So we have fractions uh, or functions in a fraction format, and so we are subtracting. Um, so that would be one way. The other way is um, sometimes um, we have some other uh, ways of remembering things, and you might have seen this before, but I'm going to uh, look at it this way. Suppose that my numerator is uh, high and my denominator is low. Then the derivative of this goes like this. Low, d high, d standing for derivative, minus high, d low, standing for the derivative of the denominator, divided by denominator squared. So you could kind of make a little game out of it and say it's low d high minus high d low divided by low low. So again, if you want to use that, feel free to use it. If not, uh, then you find your own way to remember how this rule goes. This is one of those things that you do want to have um, memorized by the time we take a quiz or a test on it. Okay, well let's try this and see. We're going to take the derivative of y with respect to the input variable x. We're going to start with our denominator, x minus 1, and we're going to multiply by the derivative of our numerator, minus, because we are dividing, our numerator, times the derivative with respect to x of our denominator. Okay, all of that divided by the square of our denominator. So we have shown now, this is the step showing, so this is the one we show uh, the derivatives. Okay, uh, our second step we will now take the derivatives. I'm going to uh, have that be the beginning part now of our third video for this session.